welcome back to my channel and in this video I will be reviewing the um, the utility that I use in my um, to test my hard drive and see how good it is so if I go here so I use H um, download um, so for me I use the utility named hard drive central and this is the utility this is the website I will have links in the description below and this is the utility I download the pro the professional the pro version of it and it's up um, this one the, the second one is the portable version so you can put on a USB flash drive the first one is the setup and then the third one is the standard so I always go for the pro version and then I take the um, portable because what it does is that it doesn't download it on my machine, it just runs it and after I'm done with it I can delete the download folder and when I want I can come to the website and download it again. Or if you want to download the beta version, the test version, it's down here and you can see the hard drive disk um, central professional version 5.61.16 zip file. You can download the original or the standard which is a beta version. And then this one is the, the one that was tested and put out for like people to download. You can just, I'm going to download the portable so I can click download. And I have, I have been using this one for like the most recent um, when I changed my hard drive on my computer. So I have used this before. And it's going to download, it's like 36.5 mega. So it's not that big of a file. And then we're going to close this tab and open file and then go to my download folder and then we can uh, click on the HD central pro underscore pro underscore perfect um, portable and then scroll down and then you will see um, the application where you can click on it and run it um, let's see application I think I have missed it let's just put here ABP application that's weird let's see application just extract all extract so I'm just gonna remove from the zip file into the non zip file and then um, run the utility and I will show you. It's a free utility, you don't have to pay anything. Um, I have used it. Um, it did not show me any kind of payment and I haven't paid a dime to them. So it's all free. We can close the extract folder and then you can close see so you have to enter a registration key but you can click close and you can run it for free um, so this is my my st3 my hard drive that I keep for storage this one is a Seagate hard drive and this is it's an excellent performance and excellent health it's a hundred percent and then this one right here is my PNY SSD it's in excellent condition and it's a good health so I have two hard drives on this machine and you can see that it's in good condition it shows you all the stuff and then you can go up here and change stuff configuration so I can play with the configuration of the system of the web um, software I can get help or buy now so I can buy like a registration key if I'm gonna keep on my computer and then we can do a refresh if you want to and then file I can go under file and check for new version of this I have, I have installed on my hard drive I can open it and then run it and then check if I have new versions available that I can download I can exit under the file and go exit and then this I can do self um, short self test and I can select multiple disks or select one selected disks only 
or I can select them by myself and then click selected only. And then extended um, self test, that's like multiple times I think. And then redeem secret test, that's another kind of test. And then service, surface test. Um, and then here I can save the report as a txt report. I can save it as an sorry about that. Uh, I can save it as a tml report. I can save it as oh I can send it as a txt report or I can send it as a html report. So you can save it two ways and you can send it two ways. You can save authorization disk report variance. So. Typically, I don't do anything, any of those. Maybe if I just want to download the picture of it, I can go here. So on, the, so where this is the preview. You can go to temperature and see the temperatures for both of the. Yeah, you can see the temperature. You can go to smart, and then see the other stuff, the numbers and the stuff. I don't really care about the numbers. All I care is the hard drive um health and if it's um running or is it, if it's going bad on the hard drive not down the SSD typically SSDs are like less of a failing rate than the hard drives more in the um, failing rate and the log there's no problem so we wouldn't log any, anything because my hard drive doesn't have any problems and I can clear the log so if your hard drive have stuff in the log or problems um, you shouldn't clear it because that means that there is some kind of problem and it will always detect it um, What I recommend is just changing your hard drive and then performance so you can go in here and It will read the performance of your hard drive um, disk activity transfer rate and Then alerts if anything is wrong it will alert you and That's typically it and then here it's seen as a C drive and a, an E drive because I have a day E drive for data and that's free basically because I just got it. I mean, I never used it, but I had it from before, but I never used it yet. And then here is the C drive that I have used and I have free space of 100 and whatever. You know? And this, and they will show you the, the, the letter drive the physical hard drive this is D's name or the hard drive name and then device type fixed disk and then partition in whatever partition you have and then um volume information that's if the disk and um type basic activity and alignment and set offset length basically all the information about that disk and if i click on my e disk and then it would just show me this page and that's all so I um I've been using this tool for like the past like nine weeks the past I mean nine months and I had no problems with it but, um, every time that I run it every time I use it on a different machine it will run and it will show me accurate numbers I never seen like um, so I ne like I have for example I never have seen it saying that the hard drive is bad and then when I come a few days a few days forward it says oh your hard drive is good so it's not like that it reads it accurately it gives you an accurate um, results and in my next video I will do another video about another um, utility that I use with this one so I just would get more like comfortable if this utility is right or the other one is wrong and I have another video coming up with different different kind of utility with different manufacturer and this is the end of the video and this and this called this utility is called H hard drive disk central and the website is the website link will be down below thank you for watching